Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Mike, and today we're taking a look at the Jack Wolf Knives Cyborg Jack. I wonder how many times I'm going to say Jack in this video. <laughs> so, what you get, what you get is this box. When you buy the knife, it comes in this box. Inside the box, I open it from the bottom for some reason, but inside the box, you get this tin canister. This is sick. This artwork is fantastic. This is so cool. Oh, can I? Look at this. Oh my goodness, look at that. I'm half man, half cyborg Jack. Anyway, <laughs> this artwork is just off the hizzle. <laughs> then you got a cool little, you got the logo on the top here. Is that showing up? That's showing up, I think. There you go. Very cool. So, you open this up. Take off the lid. Inside, you've got a, make sure you don't drop everything, a really nice, high quality pink. I don't know if they're all pink or if he does different colors, like for each run, but uh, in this one, you get a pink microfiber cloth, microfiber. Make sure I say that right. You get a, a sticker. You get a pog. Anyone remembers pogs? It's not actually a pog, but or maybe it is. <laughs> That's the back side of it. And there, so don't lose them. And you also get a slip. It's a nice slip. I like it. Some people buy uh, aftermarket slips for it. I was going to buy an aftermarket slip for this. I may still, but I'm, you know, this is fine for now. I like it. It's a good quality slip. Uh, and then, you, of course, you get the knife. <laughs> the knife comes wrapped up in the microfiber cloth. So it's nice and protected. Uh, anyway, so this particular one is the Hot pink camo carbon fiber. There's a few different material options. So basically, for materials, you you have an M390 blade, and then you have titanium titanium handles, and then you have a choice of some kind of carbon fiber, be it fat carbon or camo carbon, and micarta, usually a couple different colors of micarta, and usually a few different colors of fat carbon or any kind of carbon fiber that's in there. Four covers. So you get lots of different options for all kinds of different tastes on each drop as far as the covers go. So the Cyborg Jack has a clip point with a really nice satin finish on it. I love those grind lines. Nice swage up at the top here. Uh, you're looking at a th about a three inch blade length and a four inch handle length, roughly. The blade stock thickness is 0 0.1 inches. And it gets really thin near the tip. And it's a hollow grind, so <laughs> this thing is crazy slicey. This thing slices like crazy. <laughs> And then, so let's get a closer look at this handle. So there's the cover. They call these covers on slip joints. I learned that recently. It's not inlays, it's covers. So that's pretty cool. There's a whole different set of terms for traditional slash slip joint knives. On the bolsters, you can see there's like a secondary bevel on here. That's really nice looking. And then on the end cap, same kind of an embol, uh, same kind of a bevel here. Just very angular. Even right here on the handle, very angular design. It doesn't look like it would necess necessarily be comfortable, but it really is comfortable in hand. Feels really good. So, the walk and talk. Now we all know if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that I really like the action. 
The action on a knife is one of the most important aspects of a knife to me. Just because I like to fidget with my knives more than I like to cut with my knives. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. It's a whole different kettle of fish with the slip joint though. But it's something called walk and talk. And I, I heard walk and talk before, but I never really understood what walk and talk meant. So, the walk is that right there, that jump. Same with that one, that jump there. The talk is the noise it makes. So, if my understanding is correct, to have a good walk and talk, you want nice, crisp, sounds and you want a nice crisp well-defined jump between positions so when it goes from the open position to the half stop you want to see that jump and when it goes from the half stop to the closed position you want to see that jump this is a good walk and talk as far as the pull goes on this I have a few slip joints but I don't have that many, not enough to really build much of a comparison between them, but the pull on this, it's not, an, it's not a light pull, but it's also not so heavy that you feel like when you use the nail nick, you're going to rip your nails out of your thumb, <laughs> or you're also not going to slip off the blade. So it's, it's a satisfying pull but it's not so hard that I'm uncomfortable when I open the knife. It's a happy medium. Now the back spring strength, and I'm assuming that has to do with the pull and everything too, is it's a strong back spring. Like I'm not, like I'm pushing on this harder than I would probably push on it in use. And it's not closing. I'm not afraid of it closing on my fingers. You gotta be careful. But when I use this, as long as I'm being careful, I'm not worried about this closing on my fingers at all. I really like using this knife. Like I mentioned before, like it's extremely slicey. It feels good in hand. I'm not worried about it folding on my fingers when I'm using it. It's a really nice slip joint. I'm carrying it now as my primary knife. Uh, I don't even carry a locking knife anymore. I'm starting to dive into the rabbit hole for slip joint knives. So um, there's a drop happening on December 16th for the Venom Jack. I love the look of that too so I will be getting that one as well because <laughs> I don't know if it's just I, I don't think I don't think it's necessarily all slip joints that I want to start collecting. I think it's just Jack Wolf knives that I want to get. But anyways Long story short, if you like slip joints, you should check out Jack Wolf Knives, if you haven't already. And if you don't like slip joints, you should check out Jack Wolf Knives, because these are fantastic. I never even talked about the fit and finish with this yet. So one thing that I'm very impressed with is on the back spring here. So it's a very nice looking back spacer. Every, no gaps, everything's just perfect. Certain ways you hold it. You can see the line between the back, the back spring. Uh, did I call it back spacer earlier? I apologize. Back spring. You can see that line where the blade meets the back spring. You can see it right there. But that's that's all. Like it just from a distance, you can hardly even see that. Everything just fits together so well. Now, if I could be mistaken, I may have misunderstood what I heard, but. In a video that Ben, the owner of Jack Wolf Knives, put out on his YouTube channel, make sure you check out his channel. There's a lot of good maintenance and other videos on there. He was saying how what they do is they mate, like the, the how would I just explain this? The pieces are all mated together. This cover was made to fit this knife. What they do is they put the cover on this essentially and then they mill it to fit the handle. So they assemble it and then they grind or mill it down 
so that everything just matches up perfectly. It's not done separately and then added to this. It's just added to this and then made to fit. So the, the fit and finish, the level of polish on this knife is top notch. Yeah, they're a premium knife. Uh, they're up there in price for sure. They are a premium slip joint, but they're worth every single penny. And that's the truth. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm super happy with this. I love this knife. I can't wait to get more Jack Wolf knives. Uh, the whole thing, the whole experience, the unboxing experience. I know I didn't film an unboxing video. Maybe I will on the, on the Venom. But everything that comes in this, like it's such a great experience. Even just like putting this on display. This is going to look awesome on my knife shelf. Just on display. So, you know, I can't ask for anything more. I'll leave a link in the description of this video to Jack Wolf Knives website, to Jack Wolf Knives Instagram, and Jack Wolf Knives YouTube. <laughs> oh, and he's on Facebook as well. Make sure you check out at least one of those things because he does not mind getting in contact with you. He's a very approachable guy. I've asked him a few questions. He's answered them no problem. He's very friendly. Uh, he's just an awesome dude and I, I like supporting people that are like that you know they're, they're part of the community and they love being part of the community so yeah like I say before my battery dies make sure you check out Jack Wolf Knives you'll be glad you did and thank you so much for watching take care